Hello everyone. Um, the Lord woke me up kind of early this morning. Um, well, all night I was dreaming or he was trying to tell me something and it's about this calendar. And then finally my kitty, Luke, <laughs> came meowing at the window. It was raining hard outside, so I let him in about one o'clock in the morning. And he ate and then he wanted back out. So, um, again, at two o'clock in the morning, meow, on the screen and wanting to get in. So I'm thinking, hmm, maybe the Lord wants me to get up now. This is really important, you all. Um, he just told me this morning while I was trying to prepare what to show you guys because there's so much. But basically, since March 1st, we have been given a 40-day warning, and it is a 40-day testing period, a purification period. And he told me this morning, this is our 40 days of glorified ministry. And when I got that, I looked at the time, and it was 424, and 424 means to go up. So you guys, I'm going to do the best I can to tell you just what Jesus told me to tell you, because this might be my last video. The Holy Spirit told me it's time to get your bug out bag packed and head up the mountain. So... Um, my goodness. Oh, where do I start? Today is the 12th. Last year, March 12th, there was a rainbow around the sun for four hours. I recorded it and read Revelation chapter 4. It was very emotional. It still is for me to watch. But that, um... 12 years ago, I mean 12 years ago, 42 months ago, 1277 days ago today, Jupiter exited the womb of Venus. That's the birth of, you know, the Revelation 12 sign. And that's also the day that Hurricane Harold showed up. Harold, like a messenger. And that's also the day that WHO declared the coronavirus a pandemic. Um, what else? Oh, and 13. This all started with all night long hearing 13, 13, 13, 13. Even after I said, okay, I got it. You know, and, and Esther, and 13, 13, and so 13 stands out. Oh, I don't even know how to say this. Disaster's coming. Disaster's coming. I mean, if you don't know by now, it's coming. Oh, just please wake up. Okay, so the first 13 is tomorrow. Oh, and I want you to write down all these verses you see. I want to show you something else. Um, the verses. There's these verses that they all start on... No, they don't all start. Okay, here's another thing why I'm so late. 1 Corinthians 10 goes almost all the way to the end till April 2nd. Romans 13 goes to goes to the 14th. Where's that other? Yeah. Um, read these scriptures. Okay, I'll read them out just in case you can't see. Start out. Read 1 Corinthians chapter 10. It goes all the way to um, April 2nd. Romans Chapter 13 starts from March 1st, ends March 14th. Revelation 3 starts on March 1st, ends on the 22nd, because, you know, it only has 22 verses. Um, 
else, what else? Oh, see, I have like a bookmark. And I had bookmarks in my brain, not literally, but if you look back at my notes, I had bookmarks in this. Oh, well, thank you, Lord, thank you. Um, so you'll see on the 14th, I'm sorry if I'm hopping around. I'm sorry. Um, on the 14th, you start with Zephaniah chapter 2. And you go all the way to the 15th. And it ends on the 15th of Adar. Or Nisan. See how I'm using both dates? Okay. And Revelation 4 is... 1 through 11. So you're using the Hebrew dates. It ends on the 11th of Nisan, the 24th. Okay, let me see. Um, what else did you want me to say? Oh, um, in 13... You know, 13, 13, the 13th letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Mem, and the value of Mem is 40, and that's where all these 40s come in. You know, Moses, I think he went up the mountain four times, two times for 40 days each. Elijah went on the strength of that meal where when Jesus fed him at night, you know, the loaf of bread and water. Um, and then Nineveh had 40 days to um, repent and live right. Oh, that's what I'll read. I'll read that one. Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 1 through 11, starts on March 1st, ends on March. It ended yesterday. Can you see all these... At least you'll be able to look at the screen. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and remember my coconut vision? Okay, I'm going to read Ezekiel 9, 1 through 11. <clears throat> and it's about sealing, marking. Um. Then I heard him call out in a loud voice, Bring the guards of the city here, each with a weapon in his hand. And I saw six men coming from the direction of the upper gate, which faces north, each with a deadly weapon in his hand. With them was a man clothed in linen who had a writing kit at his side. They came in and stood beside the bronze altar. Now the glory of God of Israel went up from above the cherubims where it had been and moved to the threshold of the temple. The Lord called to the man clothed in linen who had the writing kit at his side and said to him, Go throughout the city of Jerusalem and put a mark on the foreheads of those who grieve and lament over all the detestable things that are done in it. As I listened, he said to the others, Follow him through the city, and kill without showing pity or compassion. Slaughter old men, young men and maidens, women and children but do not touch anyone who has the mark. Begin, begin at my sanctuary. Then he said, Defile the temple and fill the courts with the slain. Go. While they were killing and I was left alone, I fell face down, crying out, Ah, oh, sovereign Lord, are you going to destroy the entire remnant of Israel in this outpouring of your wrath on Jerusalem? He answered me, The sin of the house of Israel is exceedingly great. The land is full of bloodshed, and the city is full of injustice. They say the Lord has forsaken the land. The Lord does not see. 
This is a vision showing the preservation of the righteous and the destruction of the wicked. Oh, and there's two more verses. So I will not look on them with pity or spare them, but I will bring them down on their own heads what they have done. Then the man in linen with the writing kit at his side brought back word saying, I have done as you commanded. Okay, this is a another one. Judges 21 through 25. I mean, 1 through 25. It, it will end on the 25th of March. This is where it's talking about there is no... Well, let me just read the last one. Um, ah, oh, no. I lost it. Anyway, there was... No king, in those days there was no king in Israel. Let me find it. Yes, in that day there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. That's how it is today, and there's no king in Israel. There's still no king. And this red highlighted area, if you if this is the first time you're here to my channel, I'm so sorry. I'm I don't do review. <laughs> you're just gonna have to go back. But that is the ten days of tribulation. Where uh Jesus says some of you will be thrown into prison or maybe brought before kings. You know, this is your chance to shine. This is your chance to shine, be purified, die for him if you have to. You know, it says, love not your life to death. And to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Any day now. Um, let me see. Okay. So. Yes. Yes, Lord. That. This, I believe, is the day that there will be no land in sight. Because um, on the 8th, was that something to point with? On the 8th, April 8th last year, I had a waking vision. I woke up and focused on the alarm clock. It said 6.54. And I closed my eyes to get some more sleep. And then, boom, the, the vision started. Um, three, two, one. And then I saw nothing but floating coconuts. They were floating together, you know, like clinging to each other. It almost like, how could you cling to each other in an ocean? But they were. And some of them were in di different stages of sprouting. I know, I'm not an artist. <laughs> okay. Um, and I looked around, there was no land. And then I saw 1244. Big and bold. Oh, and I forgot to find what that meant. Hold on. Okay, here's the actual notes. Um... 1244 in the Greek is dia ireo, to divide, distribute. And that is, you can find that in Luke when he's talking about the prodigal son and he says, I want my inheritance now. And he goes and squanders it. We've all been there. We've all been the prodigal son. Okay, um, what else? John 1244. He that believeth on me, believeth not on me. Wait, he that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but him that sent me. Verse 46 says, Whosoever believeth on me should not walk or abide in darkness. Um, and that's, blessed is that servant whose master finds him so doing. Truly, I tell you, he will put him in charge of all his possessions. It's getting to be that time now. It really is. We're almost home. Um, okay, what else? So, 
So I, I need you to know that the Lord really wants me to warn you to be ready to go home. On this 13th, this is the last day of the 10-day tribulation. Be ready to go by then. If you're not, you know, hope to be ready by then. Because you know to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. He will snatch you away from danger right before it comes. You know what? That's why I never see destruction in my visions or dreams. I've seen tidal wave three miles high standing above my head, but I had no fear. No fear. I've seen big, huge, fiery, burning planets right in front of my face taking up my whole field of vision. No fear. What else? I didn't like looking at whatever was under those scorpions being shredded apart. I didn't have to really see that. I just knew what was going on. But don't be afraid of anything. Don't be afraid of what man can do to you. Fear God. Fear him. He loves you. You know, the reason we're not with him yet is because we haven't learned our lessons. We keep making the same mistakes. This is the time to learn from our mistakes. This is our 40-day warning. Can I get that up here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 40-day warning, testing purification, 40 days of glorified ministry. I don't know what he has in store for me, but I know it's going to be awesome. Woo! <laughs> I'm going to cry. Okay, so basically he wants me to tell you to look at Moses and Elijah and Nineveh. Look at all the look at all the things in the Bible that talks about 40 days and warning and judgment, okay? Um the Ninevites, the most wicked city in the whole world, they just needed to hear that God was going to judge them and they repented themselves. I feel for Jonah. I don't think it ended well for him. He did the bare minimum. He didn't warn them. In fact, he, he just, all he said is, you're, you're going to be judged. I mean, judgment is coming. Destruction is coming. He didn't care about them. He didn't care about them. I care about these people. I don't even know. Oh, Lord, please have mercy. Please have mercy. Repent, repent, repent. This is it, folks. This is it. I want to play It's a Final Countdown. <laughs> but no, it's so much better than that. It's more like I can only imagine. Oh, I'm going to cry again. Well, um, I will see you when I see you. Lord willing, you know, um... I'll be able to talk to you again, but um, I'm planning on just listening to his voice and preparing to go to the mountains. I love you all. Be strong in the Lord. Be faithful unto death.